Hi guys, uh, welcome to episode 24 of Soar and Pair, Why Not Together? And remember Soar and Pair is soaring together to explore new adventures while inspiring others to create their own. Uh, today, I'm excited about today's topic. It's um, the effect, it's... You're so excited <laughs> that you can't. I can't see it. <laughs> So we didn't, you know, we're going to keep this because it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> we're not going to edit anything out. So it's how emotions. Thank you. I wrote it. I can't see it. <laughs> the glasses are right there. So you want to say it still? I think you should. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. It's how your emotions affect your body and the mind body connection. Um, it's a, it's a great topic. It really that is. That was really emotional right now. I'm telling you, I felt it through my whole body. <laughs> so we got through that. Um, it's, it's really funny because you said you were excited about it. Then you're like, I don't know what I'm excited <laughs> I about. I completely blanked. <laughs> and it happens, right? So perhaps it's, excitement creates a blank mind. This is a good point. It, it can. It, it really can. I mean... Obviously, there's a little nerve. There's a there's a little bit of nerves when we get started. Yeah, at first, yeah. You know, because we want it to be perfect, not so much. As no, as as we we're would not say. we're not too tied to that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, God. because we're not editing anything. Um, this is your first time listening to us. It's not uncommon. It usually doesn't happen right at the beginning, but there's something. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just you. It's me too. Yeah. I'm like I can't think of this word. Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't script everything. I mean, part of this whole why not together is, um, you know, we weren't going to write out the whole episode and, you know, we read it out. We have a loose outline of what we want to talk about, but we usually go off-roading, right? Yes, uh, which is a Sandyism we've used before in, in loose in bunny quotes. Yes. Um, but it's, it's part of the journey. Um, you know, just like sitting down with us in person and hanging out with us, we're, yeah. we, we don't have any pretense. Yeah. really about anything uh, or do we pretend yeah. do, sometimes we pretend sometimes. we don't always look this nice <laughs> those in the podcast you know we're well kempt and hair is nicely quaffed and... oh please <laughs> <laughs> we look awesome yeah. <laughs> that's right we're so hot that we just can't keep our fingers on our shoulders <laughs> so um yeah, so emotions affect the body. But before we talk about that, and we got a lot to dive into, yeah, but we, we always do a weekly update. Um, so I will go first. I am proud to say, if you've been following the last couple weeks, I tuned my grand piano. Yay! Yay, last yeah. week, she like threw me under the bus. I did. <laughs> Tell us, did you tune your piano? Because I had promised two weeks ago. So I think your guilt trip worked. Mm. Or you're shaming. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, you're just like shaming. <laughs> the piano, piano shaming. shaming. <laughs> so I finally got it done, and I recorded uh, a classical, a couple of classical Latin pieces that I've done in my performances, and one of them is Malagueña, an original piano version of Malagueña, which is famous for the guitar version, but this is the piano version. And I posted it on YouTube last night, and it's on my YouTube channel if you want to see my fingers do its thing on my tuned grand piano um, enjoy Malagania. so at least I'm back in the you know posting business of my YouTube channel yes. um, and so you know enjoy enjoy that and I've got a lot of classical pieces mm -hmm. on there as well as original so that I like to toggle back and forth so the next one or two that I do will be original pieces and so I'm my my hiatus my break is over and i'm gonna keep try to crank out at least one a week Crack um, the whip. it's my way of performing because you know yeah. performers right now with this whole COVID thing there's no in-person perform or very few in-person performances going on mm -hmm. and so a lot of it is through social media it's through facebook yeah. live or it's through all these performers are going through withdrawals yeah, so they're doing, you know, live digital concerts, but it's it's not quite the same thing. No. But, yeah. um, you know, it, it won't last forever, but then again, this is lasting quite a long time. Feels, it just feels like forever. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, 
I'm proud to say I, I good did, job. I did my thing, so Yay. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Well, and with me, I pulled the plug and decided to, after all, build my own website. Build your own website in three easy steps. One, pay somebody a lot of money to get your website. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I bought the domain name Sandy Soren, S-O-R-E-N, because everyone misspells my name, our name. Yes, S-O-N. So S-O-R-E-N. S-O-N is wrong, but everybody wants to say Soren's son. Yeah. And when it's really Soren Sen, S-E-N, which by the way, since I've done it my whole life and you have with me for the last many years, um, it's Danish. Mm -hmm. So the Danish last name is S-E-N. Instead of having that in there, we thought, why not just make it Soren? Soren, yeah. And, and, Soren then, and then it ties into Soren Pair which, you know, is perfect and it's easier to spell, easier to find. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have my email there and my website and I'm working on getting that built. It's under construction right now, but I, you know, the people who were going to do mine for me, uh, they just, they've been through it and they're still dealing with the aftermath of what they were going right. through. So I decided to just go ahead and try it. So I'm working on it and finally pulled the plug on that. So you're it's, building it, it's not not out there yet. It's not out yet, I'll let you guys know. It, I'm really hoping, here I'm gonna throw myself under the bus. Uh -oh. I'm hoping to have it ready to be launched this week, some point, hopefully before our next podcast. You heard it here, folks. You, so. you heard me say hopefully too. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do next yeah, podcast. I know. Even if it's not built. So tell me, Sandy, tell us, did you finish your website, even knowing full well that perhaps you had not? Yes. So that way we can be even, because it's all about, a relationship is all about getting even with yeah. your partner, isn't it? I hear you doing it regardless. <laughs> it's like, I don't care if you do it or not, I'm still throwing you <laughs> No, and it will be sandysorin.com. I don't think we said that. So. It's not up yet, but Sandy Soren, S-O-R-E-N, really easy, not worrying about those last three letters, mm -hmm. dot com, and dot com. it'll be all about what you do. So your Facebook page will still be up. It'll be linked to that. Yes. Yeah, it'll be linked to that. And I, that's part of the delay for me is I'm trying to figure out how to get all these plugins, um, add-ons to my website. So, yeah. Not my forte, but we'll figure it out. Well, and... Kudos for you for just taking the plunge and, yeah, and doing it. I think, you know, it, it's important for me to figure this stuff out and right. be part of its growth. So here we go. <laughs> right. So you'll have your address in the digital world out there. Uh -huh. And then I still have Jim Sorensen Piano. I didn't shorten it. So it's S-E-N, by the way, if you're looking for me, Jim Sorensen Piano dot com. Yeah. Which um, we'll have. My we'll have a link, stuff. yeah. So yeah, we'll there will be a the link two. on for both of those um, on the website, so everything will be together. And the website will link to this podcast, right? To this YouTube channel. Yes. And it's just all interconnected. Yeah. But we're learning. We're learning about all that stuff. So, you know. Um, yeah, there's definitely a learning curve, but I'm jumping in. We are jumping in. <laughs> right. And so. And that's exciting and good for you. I mean, because I think it's it's all about um, taking those steps. I think sometimes the hardest thing we can talk about it forever. We can, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Yeah, just do and it. Right. How, how long did we talk about trying this podcast YouTube channel before we actually few finally months. did it? A few months. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, same thing. It's just you know about not wanting to waste any more time. Let's just do it. So yeah, I, I'm excited. The, the thing is, I'm, one of the plugins I'm working on is my scheduler. I would like to have that an automatic thing so that when people come onto my website and schedule, that it'll automatically ping me. Right. So that's kind of one of the holdups that I'm working on, but no, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it works this week and we'll update you next week if it's up and running. <laughs> He's not holding his breath, I can, I can tell already. <laughs> I, 
honestly, there, you know, I mean, we want to get it right. We don't want to just throw it out there. It, without, exactly. So, Even if it takes a few weeks, I'm okay with that. Yeah, uh, for sure. So let's get into it. What is that topic again? What is oh, shush. <laughs> Yeah, we were discussing it earlier. She was so excited about it. It's so, a great topic. The mind-body connection is everything about what I'm doing. Um, the Your emotions have such a profound effect on your body. And it's all stored in the cells. Even if, it, you know, if it's physical trauma mm -hmm. or emotional trauma. Um, good, bad, otherwise, everything is stored in your cells. It's actually rewritten into the DNA. And so if you have like an old ache or pain, um, that can be related to that. So it's not your body just remember. It's not just a physical injury. It could be an emotional injury. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So and that can cause dis-ease and pain and issues moving forward. I th think a lot of us, and, and there's science behind it too, so this isn't just the totally. woo-woo, holistic, um, you know, <laughs> exactly. stuff that yeah. um, I think maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago, it was like, eh, you know, um, it's, it's no. really no. proven now, isn't it? There's like a lot of yeah, studies and science, which we won't and, get into. But and any doctor it. you talk to now, whereas back then they, they kind of would have, mm, but now any doctor you talk to is recognizing this also. Right, right, which exactly. I think super cool because it's, we're moving in a different direction now. Right, and I think we were talking about too how, how you were saying it was stored in the DNA in the cells. Mm -hmm. So that it's a lot of times... It's like code right. written into the cells. And, and if you don't really look at it, it can hide. Yeah. It, exactly. You know, when we tend to push things down, you fake it till you make it really doesn't work. Right. Because you're just pushing it down. Your cells know. And you end up on that river in Egypt, denial. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and eventually something's going to reach up and bite you in the butt. It, yeah. Because it's written into the cells and it can cause... Um, a lot of issues down the road if you don't you know dig that out and actually deal with it and as a nurse I'm sure you notice when you talk to your patients without getting specific that when somebody is not admitting like something is bothering them and then you finally get them to open up what's the first thing that spills out is that emotion right mm -hmm. yeah they may either cry or have an angry reaction or, or laugh Sometimes, you know, emotion is emotion. If it's giddy laughing or crying and, and, or angry, it's still emotion. You can go the whole gambit. Right. Mm -hmm. We like to laugh a lot because, well, we're a little crazy, number one. Number two, <laughs> I think laughter, and I know we're not talking about this specifically here, but laughter is a great release. It is. What I notice after a real stressful day, if we watch some of our, you know, we like to watch shows and we have the exciting ones or the drama ones but a lot of times i think after a very stressful day you just want to laugh whose line this guy will laugh till he cries every time whose line is it anyway i i need to blow my nose um those... it's funny i hear him over there sniffling i'm like okay jim's doing good <laughs> yeah so we have our go-to's that we enjoy some good sitcoms <laughs> comedians but that you know and i think there was a book written a long time ago laughter is the best medicine Mm -hmm. about how um well yeah it helps you to release things it's still an emotional release yeah i think somebody uh it was a, that book talked about somebody curing themselves from cancer by just watching funny things and keeping themselves laughing mm -hmm. so yeah keeping themselves happy yeah right yeah i think the more you allow yourself to go down that um dark rabbit hole um as as a chemo nurse, I used to see that a lot. Um, the patients who had the best outcomes were the ones who went into it. I mean, it's it's a heavy topic no matter what, and especially right. if it's happening to you. Right. right? Oh, yeah. But um, the patients who had the best outcomes are the ones who went into it with a good attitude, who found ways to laugh and smile and make light of what was going on not to ignore 
but to deal with it um, makes a difference. When I broke my ankle in three places, um, what I really tried to do, and it wasn't easy, is to stay in a positive place, to joke around, to still be myself, even though I was stuck, you know. Yeah. And, and Quite literally. It, yeah. Um, and that really helped carry me through, I think, that experience. I'd never broken it. I never had a serious injury like that. And, you know, two, two months, for all intents and purposes, on my back, um, I, I got through it with that kind of approach and um i agree you know trying yeah. to just keep it light and yeah um, not to not to say that you didn't have your moments oh yeah i had my moments <laughs> yeah you did <laughs> but but overall you you did i mean you would have your moment and you'd get through it and then you would revert back to right joking and laughing and trying to make light of it because that that's your coping and i think that's beautiful it's right. a good way Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some we were we were kind of looking earlier about so how some specific emotions affect your health, affect your body. Yes. So we'll do a couple positive. We'll do a positive one. We'll do some. There's plenty of negative ones, and we'll end with the positive one. So let's start with love. Okay. Love, you're in love. What happens in the body? What What does the body literally do when when you're in love? What does it do? Well. I mean, and so there's an adrenal response, right? Your heart goes oh. a flutter, do, 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 yeah. do, right? And you know, you're all excited, but um, it releases something called, and you can explain this better than me, oxytocin. Yes, yes, what it's the, the feel good. It's it's the feel good hormone. Um, that's the hormone that that makes you happy, that makes you feel good, and lifts your spirits. And so, you know. Yeah, having that love feeling with the heart racing and the, the butterflies, it releases the oxytocin and it just, it's overall good for your health. It really is. I mean, love literally is good for your health and it's like a natural painkiller, right? Yes, yes. And of course your heart. That's what's released when you're in labor. Interesting. Well, I've never experienced that. Yeah, just there's a know. reason for that. <laughs> But anyway, that was sort of a <laughs> side path. Here we are talking about being in love when you're in labor. <laughs> Whoa! Of course, we're coming up on Labor Day too. So, just saying, um, kudos to all you mothers out there that go through labor. Thank you. But yeah, that's that's love too, like a mother's love. But your what I point I was getting to is your heart is healthy because that's where you know obviously Valentine's the the heart is. It's interesting that the heart is connotation with love, and yet that is really what benefits mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. somebody who feels surrounded by love, whether it's a relationship or whether it's a circle of friends or people. Right. Right? Yes. Yes. So, right? Do the heart thing. We're doing the heart hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's go to a darker side now. So we love <laughs> Anger, anxiety. Yes. Yeah. We all have those moments, but long-term anger, anxiety is, I mean, it's yeah. related to heart attacks. Yes, yeah, yeah, the stress. It causes a stress response, um, can lead to insomnia, heart issues. Digestive. Digestive. Even a stroke. Yes. Well, yeah, because that's sustained, right? Right. Um, over time, and that's the thing is, you know, if you're holding it, that in, pushing it down, holding it in, eventually, it's like a pressure cooker. We've all heard that analogy. Eventually, that pressure cooker has to relieve some of that pressure, and you end up with a, an, an event. Well, when I have a buildup of pressure, I relieve, like. Gas. Is that what you're talking about? Let's not. <laughs> no, not that. We were doing so well. <laughs> so, but anger and getting back to anger can can really affect somebody's anxiety level because when someone is anxious, right, they're clenched like this, right? right? Yeah, and <clears throat> the visual there, just the the tightness into your core. Yeah, your organs are all yeah clenched up. 
you know um another one depression mm. a lot of people are going through depression these days yeah um one of the main things it does and this really counts right now with covid is it weakens the immune the immune system yes the yes. ability to fight off stuff like covid yeah which is something that we had touched on weeks past um in the beginning when we were talking about covid is you know the depression i think we all have to be careful with that because it does weaken your immune system right in your it, point of view and it also affects memory yes um but maybe you want to forget things who knows mm. maybe you want a forgettery instead of a memory i don't know a forgettery <laughs> my forgettery <laughs> all of us have a forgettery we, just, <laughs> we want to remember that um pun intended and and seriously making decisions not being decisive mm -hmm. well yeah just scattered Right. Right. The right. scattered focus, the inability to concentrate, and that all goes together. Yeah. So, so another negative emotion that we're on a roll here. <laughs> fear. <laughs> Just plain fear. I think we were, <laughs> we were we were reading something. How literally the blood drains from your face. You go uh, pale. Yes. And that's funny. Why? <laughs> it's not. We laugh in the face of fear. <laughs> so, yes. uh, but but seriously, that you go into fight and flight, right? Right, and that's because, like we learned in nursing school, was you know your body will sacrifice the limbs to preserve the core. All the blood is going to the major organs to prepare for fight or flight. Right. Running away from that bear, kind of thing. Another one, disgust. Like if you're disgusted with what you're hearing today um we read interesting that that's the most difficult one to control why do you think that is judgment yeah judgment i, I mean yeah i everybody kind of don't we throughout the course of our days you know we look at something and we judge it good or bad judgment kind of overshadows things well and what's interesting I have it, I have it. yeah yeah what's interesting about this is the heart rate actually slows right on this one according to the and you have stomach issues nausea vomiting and so mm -hmm. it's interesting when you go into that oh I'm so disgusted Blech. again yeah yeah digestive issues like i can't digestive. stomach that person you've heard that phrase you know it's interesting how interesting we, we take yeah. take those kind of things um um shame when you're ashamed, what happens to the body? Tell me. Well, you... I have no shame. <laughs> something called cortisol. Cortisol. Oh. Explain to the folks what cortisol it does. It's, it's, it's kind of a, a negative... Um, it's, it's that stressful hormone that's released, right? Mm -hmm. the cortisol in the in the body yeah uh, the stress hormone and it really comes from the past so when we're ashamed we're feeling that i mean it's literally a, a, a bodily response yes it's not... yes it's interesting when you um take it down to this level mm -hmm. how it just how you can pretty much see all these things how they would affect you it, it all makes sense to me so we got two more negative, and then we'll end on a good note here. Um, well, we won't end, but we'll go to the next segment. So pride, contempt. I'm better than everybody else, right? <laughs> These people aren't as good as me. Oh, I'm not me talking. I'm just pretending. Oh, okay. Pride. Just checking. <laughs> yeah. But that will cause heartburn. I find that interesting. Mm -hmm. I have heartburn issues. Okay, I'm out. Stomach ache, rise in blood pressure. So literally, you're better than everybody else, but your blood pressure goes up. Mm -hmm. That's a lot to uphold. Yeah. Think about it. Well, I am. That's going to cause a different kind of stress. I am a right? legend in my own mind. Exactly. So yeah. it's hard to keep yeah. that up, you know? Uh, one more, and I think this is a big one in relationships. Jealousy. Yes. Yes. I agree. Because jealousy will... It, it really affects a lot. Insomnia, 
um, ap poor appetite, raised blood pressure, raised heart rate, and either you're going to gain a lot of weight or lose a lot of weight. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and stomach problems and, and jealousy, and they call it the green eyed monster, which I think is an interesting term for that. Mm -hmm. But it really has a huge negative response to your body, especially if totally. it's a lot. I mean, we could do a whole segment about I, that. I was just thinking the same thing. We really could. Um, yeah, it just, it eats away at you. Mm, that's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Literally. Which could eat the lining of your stomach, literally. Yeah, and then Cause, you're really in trouble. Causing yeah. digestive issues. Mm -hmm. So, one more emotion. And we'll make it better. Happiness. Happiness. So happiness, um, it, it's associated with good health. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's there's no doubt that your heart is healthy and your immune system is strong. You just live longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't didn't we read somewhere that um, married people actually live longer? Let's let's rephrase that. Happily married people <laughs> live Good longer. <laughs> Not all marriages are very happy, um, but yes, uh, as opposed to somebody single or alone. Yeah, it's it's true. It goes back to that love thing we talked about in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But I remember seeing a show on Centurions. Those who lived to a hundred years or longer, it seems like they understand how to deal with stress and keep themselves in a happier state mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. look at the positive. Mm -hmm. They're not happier because they're healthy. They're healthier because they're happy. My mind was, just got blown with that. That's it's true. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Uh, so, so yeah. your turn now. We're going to talk about where we store things in the body, right? So this is really cool. And I'm going to post this on my um, Facebook page, but it shows a map of the body and where we store our emotions. Okay. Right. Let's, let's do it. <clears throat> so um, the first one being the neck, the neck, this is, this is kind of cool. The neck is related to refusing to see other sides of a situation being stubborn or inflexible. Stiff neckedness, right? They used to call about, they used to call Naked? It, not naked, <laughs> nakedness. <laughs> stiff necked, okay. <laughs> Moving <Nakedness>. on. <laughs> <laughs> That's anyway. a real word. But yes, inflexibility would cause that neck to be stiff. Yes. In the shoulders, where do you store yours, by the way? You're right there. Yeah. Shoulders yeah. tends to be, which I think is a very common one. You know, the weight of the world syndrome. Mm -hmm. Atlas, it feels like another brick. Yeah, you like you're holding all your financial worries. You're holding your familial worries. You're holding your health worries. Worry, worry, worry. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right there in the shoulders and the anyway. Um, the shoulders represent your ability to carry our experiences in life joyously. I'm working on that. <laughs> we make life a burden by our attitudes, like we talked about. Exactly. Uh, in the spine, the spine is broken into the three parts of the spine. It represents the support of life or how you are supported in life. Uh, the upper back is lack of emotional support, feeling unloved or holding back love. Okay. Okay. Uh, the middle is, can't read my own writing, uh -oh. um, guilt, stuck in the past, like get off my back. Okay. Or being stabbed in the back. That's a good one too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the lower back is fear related to money, financial issues, which kind of makes sense to me because that's more towards your root, towards your core. When you talk about the spine supporting life, so when you say someone is spineless, they unsupportive and yeah, floppy. They're floppy. They can't. They you can never count on them. Yeah. They're very unsupportive. So it's interesting how all these terms tie kind of together. Relate. Yeah. Yeah. So the elbows represent change in direction and your ability to accept new experiences. What I see is this: what you're able to take in. 
from the podcast, she's feeding her, pretending to feed her mouth with her. Yeah. Mouth. Yeah. So that's Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> it does. Uh, the wrists represent movement and ease, flexibility. Okay. Uh, the hips, fear of moving forward in major decisions or just feeling as if you have nothing to move forward to. Right. Okay. Uh, the knees, stubborn. Pride and ego, fear, inflexible, and inability to bend. Okay. That kind of makes sense to me, too. Right. This kind of reminds me of if anyone is familiar with Louise Hay, Heal Your Body. Um, she talks about how different parts of the body represent different emotions and how you can heal them yourself. Right. I love this stuff. Yeah. She goes into great detail about everything. Yeah, because if you look at it originally, you know, from the top, you're like, oh, that doesn't apply to me. But if you look deeper, it, there's usually a root there somewhere. Absolutely. It may be in your distant past, but there, it's usually there somewhere. We all have mm -hmm. them. <laughs> um, so for the ankles, inflexible and guilt represents your ability to receive pleasure. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I definitely was lacking pleasure for hey, a now. long time when, when <laughs> I broke my ankle. <laughs> that was not pleasurable. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> and then bunions on your feet. Um, lack of joy in meeting life's experiences. So where you ask me where I hold at least, and it's not just one place. So I mentioned my shoulders is where I tend to hold um, some of the stress um what about you i have a few places the first one for me is my gut when i meet people um i always you know when i meet people or, or a situation coming up against a situation mm -hmm. where i feel it first is in my gut i get gut feelings and then if it stays with me it will usually settle in my neck i guess it makes me inflexible I'm stubborn. I am stubborn. She said it first, <laughs> not me. I, I admit it. I know I am. I stay very neutral <laughs> as a supportive husband who's not going to be spineless. <laughs> but yes, I mean, it's recognizing these things. We can joke yeah. about it, but it's recognizing these things. Totally. Ourselves. Totally. I mean, yeah. It... I found this interestingly related to um, the parable that Jesus talked about how you know, it's not what you put in your mouth, as he was talking to, you know, your Bible, to the Pharisees or the leaders of the time that were all about what you eat and, you know, not eating anything unclean. But he said, it's not what you put into your mouth, but it's what comes out of your mouth. Right. And what comes out of your mouth, obviously, other than words, is all this stored stuff that we're talking about. It yeah. really does. Yeah. Well, think about it when somebody comes and just, blah, mm -hmm. word vomit, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've had the, I mean, we've all had that experience where somebody just has to let out. Yeah, you know what's going on. The because, oversharer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, it's because it's just pent up, and they find a safe place. And, and how dare you ask them how are you? Because then five minutes later, you're like going down these very dark and personal paths that you're like, whoa! I just asked how you were, not yeah. you know what happened to you when you were a child or yeah, you know. Yeah, it's just because it's building, 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 and they feel safe with you for whatever reason, and it just comes forward. It's, right. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to share was um, about two years ago, I wrote a song. I had kidney stones, and so looking at Louise Hay books, kidney stones have to do with lumps of undissolved anger, old anger. Yeah. And um, I finally looked at that kind of as a sign that, hey, maybe I need to you know, work on very old anger or pent up emotions. That or, you're carrying that's just calcified. Right, and ended up writing a song, it's on my YouTube channel called Sound Waves. And literally I had the lithotripsy and I remember the, the day I yeah. premiered that song was the day before my procedure. And I, I um, shared it in a little church that I was a part of. The next day I had the lithotripsy sound waves and the doctor said it doesn't usually happen. It just obliterated the um, the kidney stone, and it's been now almost dare I say three years mm -hmm. since that's since I've had any sign of a kidney stone, and that's and boom, we're doing our 
fist bump. And so it's all about stepping back when you have something going on and going, okay, I've got to take care of the physical symptom. But what else can I look at in myself? What, what else can I do to prevent this from coming up again? Yeah. How can I further advance my healing and, and just be happier within myself? Take it to the DNA. Take and it to the cellular level. It's something that you and I always consider when some, something's going. I mean, not every headache is like, oh my gosh, what's that emotion? Because you could go too far. Uh, yeah, you can. You know, I just, you know, I... I Sometimes it's just a headache. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not saying every time, oh my gosh, what is that emotion? But I think it's important to step back and look at oneself. I agree. You know, and, and see what's going on. Especially if it's a chronic situation, your body's trying to tell you. Right. Your body will tell you what it needs. Um, it's about learning how to listen to what it's, to its language. Right. right? It, because understanding the language it speaks, like the things we talked about, then it gives you clues as to what it needs. And once you hear it, you can deal with that so that you don't have to keep going through this. And we're not saying don't take the pill, don't do, because it's important oh gosh, no. to do to treat the symptoms. But don't ever you see fit. But don't yeah. just treat the symptoms and not think that there could be something else underlying. Exactly. The cause. Well, there's never. There's rarely just one approach to any situation. I think you can always come at it from multiple angles. And sometimes I think if you do come at it from different angles, you're more likely to get deeper and root it out. Yeah. S spoken like a healer. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> so to end with a quote, do you want to read the from the father of medicine, yes. Hippocrates? Hippocrates. Sandy found this, and it's a, it's a really good quote I to like sort this. of finish up our, our segment. If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he's ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. Wow. So the reasons for the illness, I guess that's yeah. what we're talking about. It's exactly what we're talking about. I thought that fit beautifully. It did. You heard it here, folks, from <laughs> from that nurse. That was, nurse lady. Yes, yeah. that nurse lady who's an intuitive counselor and master <laughs> healer. So speaking of that nurse lady, a Sandyism for today. Okay. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> And what are we waiting for? <laughs> it. <laughs> you usually say that in the context of, just I like you to explain, because they're like, what? I use that quite a bit. I, you really do. So it's it's like anticipating something. Wait for it. Yeah. It's almost like watching a funny videos, like, oh, they're going to hit, they're going to fall. Wait for it. Boom. There it is. So. Yeah. It's 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 a really good thing. It's really interesting to hear myself through you. I think hopefully it's interesting to everybody else. Wait for it. Wait for <laughs> it. Is it interesting? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. We certainly we certainly did, and I think it's a really good subject to consider. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll, absolutely, you can take a deeper dive on this stuff in any direction. But I, um, we may revisit it again too, because there's probably. definitely more to talk about. But then we want to remind you that you can see our faces on the YouTube channel. You can hear our voices on the podcast channel with all the podcast different apps such as Spotify, Google Podcasts, um, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Radio Public, Overcast, all of those and more. So please continue et to, et cetera, continue to give us feedback, follow us, like us. We appreciate that very, very much. And once again, we appreciate you joining us today. Yep. Have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye everyone. <laughs>